Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about frequencies. So we use the word frequencies quite a lot in audio. And what we're actually referring to is the tonal content of a signal. The reason we use the word frequency is because it actually refers to the frequency of cycles that pass your ear in a second. So a really, really high pitched tone, a high pitched note, has high frequency content, meaning if you looked at the waveforms, those waveforms would be really, really short and many of them would pass through your ear in a given second. That's the frequency. The amount of cycles, the amount of complete waveforms that pass through your ear is the frequency. The unit of measurement we use for frequency is hertz, which means how many cycles per second. So for example, I'm going to load up a test tone here in Logic. Test oscillator. And as you can already hear, it's producing a sine wave at a frequency of 1000 hertz. That means 1000 sine waves are passing your ear in a second. Our brain interprets that information as pitch. Pitch is the way that we measure by ear relative differences in frequency. A higher pitch sound has a faster or a higher frequency. So if I turn this up to 2000 hertz, that's a much higher pitch because it's a much higher frequency. Actually, at 2000 hertz, we are one octave above 1000 hertz. However, if I wanted to go an octave above that, I would actually have to go to 4000 hertz. This is important because this tells you that the way we perceive differences in frequency is not linear, it's logarithmic, meaning that one octave is double the frequency of the one below it as opposed to a fixed amount of hertz above it. So if I increase this to 3000, which is the same interval I used before, we don't get an octave. I actually have to increase it to 4000 hertz to get an octave above 2000 hertz. And then again to 8000 hertz. So it's always a doubling. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this back down to 1000 hertz now. And let's have a look at what this looks like on an analyzer. So I'm going to load Logic's EQ here because it has an analyzer built in. I'm just going to turn on the analyzer. And re-enable the tone. And as you can see, the frequency that I set here, 1000 hertz, is represented by this pointy, singular reading at 1000 hertz. Notice that there are no other readings in the frequency spectrum here. That's because we're using a sine wave. And what's special about a sine wave is it resonates at a single frequency only. It's the only waveform that does that. If we used a square wave as a test tone, notice that it has a lot of harmonic content above the actual pitch that it's playing. So it's not just 1000 hertz, but it's many harmonics above that that are multiples of 1000 hertz. Different waveforms will result in different series of harmonics, all relative to the fundamental in some amount. And at different amplitudes relative to the fundamental as well. But that's the premise. A sine wave resonates at a single frequency and a single frequency only. All other waveforms are considered complex waveforms that resonate at more than one frequency. That is part of the information that your brain uses to identify 
a type of sound. Like if you hear a piano, not only is it the notes or the notes that they're playing, but it's the harmonic content above that that tells your brain that's a piano, amongst many, many other things, of course. It's the same reason that I can tell you what a square wave is or what a triangle wave is, because my brain takes that harmonic information and says, square wave or sawtooth wave. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.